Hello and welcome to the show, episode number 414. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you today. So, let's see. We got some comic book news, we got some gaming news, and also we got some anime figure news. So, let's hop right in and not dilly dally. So, first up in the news is My Little Pony Friendship with Magic, issue number 89. Not rescheduled for November. So, in a recent post by Diamond Comic Publishing, or what what, what do they call themselves? Diamond. Uh, they're, they're mostly called Diamond Cooperation Network. Uh, they do the Diamond uh, book distribution. They also have their comics and a line of gaming, whatever it is. So, anyway, uh, in a recent post, they announced that uh, the my Little Pony comic, Friendship is Magic comic, issue number 89, will be in shops on November 4th, 2020. Uh, this is kind of major because that is a while away. Uh, the comics officially, sorry, the comic is supposed to be officially released in May of uh, 2020. But because of the pandemic, the whole distribution of the comic by IDW is put on hold until further notice. And this news here is considered false because IDW themselves has stated that uh, no news or nothing has been set in stone yet. Uh, let's see. IDW Publishing currently doesn't have any confirmation on the end with regards to their release of this issue. And the latest, sorry, and the launch of season 10, blah, blah, blah. So, is this one of those scenarios where Diamond jumped the gun or they just want to pressure IDW into doing something? Um, honestly, we got no idea. And if you guys are scratching your head and saying, wait, that's a season 10? Yes, season 10 is coming in comic book form. So, the right never ends. Yay. <laughs> But for now, um, we'll just wait and see and hope that we'll get this soon enough. Uh, things are going okay in some part of the world, so that's good uh, for you Americans or North Americans. Uh, stay strong and, well, there's other contents out there for you to consume, so... If we have to wait for a bit for the season 10 comic, it's okay. It's okay. So let's move on to the next news. So, well, if you can't wait and need to do something now, there's always Them Fighting Herds. And Them Fighting Herds is officially launching with their version 1. Uh, in the article here, it says it's later tonight, but it's already what? Um, May something, something, something. So... The game is fully out. It's um, version one of it. It's out, and they have a lot of features out there. So if you are interested in picking it up, you can do so at Steam for a really good price of fifteen dollars. I personally myself has supported the game via Indiegogo, Indiegogo or Kickstarter. I don't remember. It's either those two, but I have pledge some cash into the project and I am a baker <laughs> I am a backer and I have in <laughs> I really enjoyed the game the game is good it is a 2d fighting game featuring animals usually when you play fighting games it's usually humans versus humans or probably aliens but this one is just four-legged animals and it's really interesting to see how they really really uh make the game uh, if you got no idea um what them fighting hurt is well of, i'm sorry um, previously it was a my little pony fighting game uh the game was called my little pony fighting is um uh, friendship is fight hmm, I, I forgot fighting is magic something like that and in uh the what you call this in the original state that it was, it was a competent fighting game. Uh, they had voice actors, sorry, 
the character has voices, it had a lot of cool moves and whatnot, and it got some traction in EVO. But Hasbro noticed that, hey, this is bad for our image. So we had to go and take it down. No, no, bad, bad. So with that, uh, Team Main 6 got a CND by Hasbro telling them to stop creating the game. And they did. And with that, uh, things seemed bleak for them. But Lauren came in saying that, yo, guys, I really like what you're doing. And let's do something else. Um, I'm going to create some character designs for you. Uh, Go wild. And what we got from Lauren is a pretty awesome character uh, design. Like, it still feels like the main six, when I mean main six, I mean the ponies, you can clearly tell that, okay, Arizona here is Applejack. Uh, you can see that uh, there, there's, a, there's a lot of similarity between the ponies and the, um, ec- uh, of what you call this, um, them fighting her characters. So that's really cool that they managed to salvage the project. And the fighting game is awesome like the game itself is really awesome uh they use the uh marvel marvel tree system where you have light medium heavy and special but for this one they call it magic so you have that simple button combination and it's a competent fighting game i i i haven't (laughs) i played it in a sorry i haven't played it in a while but from what I've played, it's really good. I just need to uh, play it again because there's story mode. Uh, when the game, well, when I played the game, uh, it was still in its what beta version, and they didn't really have stories. They did have uh, arcade where you can fight the CPU, and oh my god, the CPU was hard. But with this version one out, you got online matchmaking. You got story, you got tutorials, and there's there's a lot. Like, if you enjoy the fighting games, I suggest you go and get this one because this one is a really fun game. And especially if you like the ponies, go do so. And let's move on to the last bit of news. And the last bit of news is Kotobukiya reveals Colored Sunset Shimmer concept. So, it's been a while. Um... Remember back when, when I mentioned that, oh, Kotobukiya is surely going to make a Sunset Shimmer uh, figure. I am so all over it. And you know what? There there it is. It's there. Sunny in her old uh, outfit. And oh God, does she look great. Um, There's nothing much to be said this is just what um their announcement uh, availability date is to be an, uh, to be determined uh other than this design we got no idea what she's going to look like in the sculpt figure uh all we know is that um I, I'm, by, by looking at sunset here or the pony version um she's not using any of the um, movie models like how the previous six were. Uh, if you notice, the previous six were using the um, movie poster models. So that's something cool. Uh, for Sunset here, I feel or I remember this could be the image where she was looking back at Twilight before jumping into the portal. I think so. I don't remember. It could be. The outfit itself is awesome. Uh, it, honestly, would I prefer the middle sunset where she's using the jacket with her jeans, pants, or whatever it is? Uh, yeah, I, I do like that one, but this one is still good. I like this one. And prediction is going to be probably about 100 bucks, not including offers or discounts. 
But still, I do enjoy this one. I do hope that if it's available for pre-order, I am going to throw my money at the screen and buy it. So anywho, uh, that's the news for this week. And well, um, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So, if you guys seen pre- the previous news show, episode 413, uh, you may have seen a bit of fancy, not really fancy, but you may have seen some video editing on my part. And you may have heard the audio is on both channels. I hope nobody really mentioned anything to me. So yes, I've managed to play around with some, what you call this, uh, video editing software and make sure that everything is okay and cool. Uh, I do hope that you guys let me know if the audio is synced up well enough or not because... I got no idea. I I tried my best and I hope that it works. But that's besides the point. Um, what have I been doing with my week is that I've been playing some video games. I've been playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. And it's a fun game. Uh, I've played a bit of it and I find it really, really fun. I haven't gone that far i'm only what on chapter four probably five so to me it is a interesting and fun game uh the other game that i've been playing is the legend of zelda breath of the wilds and that game is fun i i went in knowing that i might not like it because it has this whole oh sandbox thing where you go explore whatever you want, you can do whatever you want, kind of deal. And it's the Skyrim problem where, okay, you can do whatever you want. There's no limit to what you can do, except Skyrim's thing is much larger, while uh, Zelda, it's more encompassed, it's more smaller. Uh, granted, I haven't done any of the side quests yet probably i have some but i've been just going around the map trying to reveal some how would you call this uh towers or looking for shrines and so on um i've gotten the master sword and now i'm trying to get all of the memory Uh, if you're thinking about sorry if you're asking about what happened to the shield um, that one there is on a on pause because for me to get to the shield, I need to head into Hyrule Castle, and for that, there's a lot of things that need that need to be done. So I'm just putting that on hold for now. Other than that, mm, nothing much. I I've just been uh, watching TV, catching up on some cartoons and anime. Uh, one of the few things that I've been watching is uh, Mao Mao? What was that show called? Give me a second. Eh? It's one of those things where the name is... Okay, Mao Mao, Heroes of Pure Heart. Yes, I've been watching that and also the new Harley Quinn cartoon. So that's a lot of fun too. Other than that, um, just doing normal stuff, playing video games, watching anime, cartoons, uh, a bit of the work. Believe it or not, I work from home, so with the stay-at-home order, it's not <laughs> it's no difference for me. But anywho, uh, I, I think let's wrap it up because I've been blabbering for a long time now. So anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on politicallive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitch Radio for the review and discussion podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Totera, reviewing the Pony Comics episodes 
uh, specials and also we do discussions on stuff. Um, recently, we had a recording about uh, the Questra Girls special, Forgot the Memory. Uh, that one is not out yet for the public. And is it on the Patreons? Yes, I think it's on the Patreons. But anyway, um, that one will be out soonish. And for the future, one of the big things that we're going to tackle soon is the My Little Pony Season 9 uh, finale. So we haven't done that yet. So stick around because that's going to be awesome. Uh, I have an idea on how to do it, but we'll just have to wait and see because if things goes as planned, we have a lot of awesome things that need to be planned out and whatnot. So yeah, stick around. Go go subscribe to the review and discussion podcast. Thank you very much if you did. Anyway, uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Tristan, and also Master of Leg. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. But anyway, I have been on Sanzo, and I'll guys... <laughs> And I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of Yes Show. See ya!